and we're recording the Sanders Family Crazy Adventure Podcast. First one ever on a 2015 MacBook Pro with uh, no sound equipment, nothing. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing? We are gonna. So we. What, what do we do? I'll, I'll say. All right, this podcast was my idea. Yes, so we put each of us wrote down. No, we got to. Why are we doing out. a podcast? Why am I doing a podcast? <laughs> I've wanted to do a podcast for a really, really long time. Uh, originally, my original idea, who knows if this is how it'll go, is uh, I always wanted to know. I was like, man, I wish I could hear a podcast of my grandpa or my great grandpa talking with his friends or his wife and see how they joke, see what their life was like, you know, back in the day. So you're saying this is for our kids? Well, originally it would have been, maybe, maybe that, because I think that would be a really fun theme if it was like, we could save this and it could be given to, I mean, our kids know us, they probably don't care at all, but maybe our grandkids would care. Maybe. I mean, there's all kinds of questions. Will they be able to speak? English? Probably not. They probably won't speak English anymore. This technology might be too old by then. Right. It'll be like having a VCR. Trying to like, how we're like, what, you had to watch old VHS tapes? Like yeah. your dad's, your dad has all his old videos Yeah. from when you were kids. Yeah. And uh, those are funny. Yeah. Maybe they'll care. Maybe they won't care. I feel like I would like to watch that. So that's the original being like, to create something for the future. And that we don't have any, maybe we don't have anything important to say. Maybe we do. But that just to like see what life was like in this time and hear about it, hear about our lives might be interesting. But also now um, that we can do it for you guys, whoever that. Maybe it's funny for you. Pretty much anyone who's watching this, especially this one, is someone who feels sorry for us. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching this. So. Anyways, we should start. What we we have literally no idea what we're gonna do. Uh, we'll just see how it plays out. We don't know how long it'll go. I thought it would be, and then so this year I was like, I wanna, I actually wanna do this. I wanna make it happen, and I wanna do it with Eve. Eve's my wife. We're married. I think people. Okay, yeah. I'm by Eve. the way, she took my last name. I took his last name. Uh now I forget what I'm saying. But that we we don't know what we're gonna do. But I thought it'd be fun to do it with Eve because I think Eve's funny. I don't think I'm funny, but whatever. So, but today, like Eve was wanting to say, we got... And then you cut me off, ru off rudely. Yeah. We got some random <laughs> ideas. We got Eve put in five suggestions. I put in five suggestions of stuff that we might talk about here that... Uh, we wanted to keep funny. We wanted to be fun. Not too serious. If you guys want it to be serious in the future, if you have serious questions uh, to ask us and stuff like that, put them in the comments and ask us. We'll talk about them. I'll but start. Eve's going to start. Something fun about Barcelona. <laughs> mm -hmm. We live in Barcelona, if you didn't know. Right now, yeah. We're, uh, we're missionaries of Ivan in Barcelona. And Barcelona's dope. Yeah, it's really neat. What's something fun? Churros. Churros are fun. The beach. Uh, our really loud neighbors. Yeah, our neighbors are crazy. <laughs> we have, I don't know how fun it is, especially at night when you're trying to sleep. But we just try to laugh about it. Our next, we have a next door neighbor that has been crying a lot lately. And the other neighbors get very violent sometimes. Not that we have to call the cops, but they fight and they use bat words and then their upstairs neighbors have three kids and when they're sick it's just a joy to be their neighbors underneath mm. someone <laughs> rings our doorbell every single night around eight o'clock yeah. it's like ding 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 on our doorbell <laughs> but they're trying to get into a different apartment they're ringing from downstairs there's no intercom yeah. in our apartment so you just get a doorbell ring but there's no way to help the person downstairs you can't like buzz them up or anything or if you don't close the elevator door someone downstairs will ring 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 and then you know someone in our on our floor forgot to close the elevator door right and then sometimes at 11 30 at night you go out and close the door uh that's pretty fun you might think we're being sarcastic but we think it's funny 
<laughs> it's entertaining. I don't know. It kind of sucks sometimes. In the moment, it's some, not always funny. Uh, Let's keep going. Barcelona is phenomenal for skateboarding. It's really good. It's really, really nice for biking. Yeah, we bike everywhere. There's no snow here. The weather's fun. Or the nice. weather's fun. Yeah. The beach is um, fun. I think the beach and beach. churros. <laughs> Seeing nude dudes. Big fat nude guys down at the beach. That's fun. Luckily, it's a, uh, a section and they're not everywhere. It's just one section where you can be naked and we try to avoid that section as much as we can. Sometimes they wander. They wander away from their designated area into the little more family friendly area no let's it's a little just weird stop right sometimes there. next one love it's your turn Ooh. tell us a honeymoon story <laughs> we've been married for eight and a half years yeah we honeymooned uh what did we do first did we go to italy first we went first to berlin and really? Then, yeah. And no. then, yes. We went to Berlin I and then remember. we went to saw the musical Tarzan in Hamburg. It was amazing. And then we went to Italy because <laughs> JP has family there that have a house there. So we that was their gift. And so we stayed there. And JP pooped the bed within the first two weeks of us being married. Oh, that's the story. That that's you the want story. To share. I woke up and. All our sheets are on the floor. I'm like, what the frick happened? <laughs> and he's like, mm, I had diarrhea and I pooped the bed. And I'm like, we've been married for two weeks. What? <laughs> that was fun. Um, it's a pretty know. normal thing. No, it's not normal. You don't poop the bed on your honeymoon. Please write in the comments if your husband pooped or you pooped the bed on your honeymoon. I don't think that's normal. I'm not ashamed in any I'm not, way. You shouldn't or be ashamed. Or embarrassed. Ashamed, but I'm just saying. What? Let's move on. That's my funny story. Do you have a funny story? About a honeymoon? Yeah. I, I can't really story. remember. Oh, I do. I Well, I think it's kind of crazy. Uh, right? So we're freshly married. Even I hadn't even known each other for a year, a year by the time we got married. It was like nine months. Nine months. <laughs> And uh, we got to Berlin and we checked into our hotel, which is a pretty cool hotel. And Berlin's super awesome. Like, there's so much to do and go out and see and all that stuff. And there was a TV in our <laughs> in our hotel room. And Eve sat down on the bed, on the edge of the bed, and turned on the news, like boring news, and was just sitting there like... We had a nice hotel room. It was tiny, but it was cool. <laughs> That's not how I watched it. And I kept trying to get her attention. Well, I was in the shower because it's and, right next to And uh, she wouldn't. She was just like. And I was like. Hmm. This is what I got in. What am I getting into? This person has some type of weird problem with TV. Mm -hmm. But uh, she's kind of okay. Next. Most embarrassing dinner. I don't know what you are suggesting. <laughs> My, for me, it was embarrassing because when you get invited to someone you don't know that well, you of course eat all the food they put in front of you, right? This dinner was in China with Korean, South Koreans, so you know, you know a little bit of South Korean culture. They're very all the with uh, yeah. the one that I took you. Yeah, you, they're oh, very. Okay. I thought you meant in Korea. Very proper, very nice, very. They're amazing. They were just really nice people. They're really nice people, and you don't want to offend them, right? So, the wife was like, "Oh, let's do kimbap." I'm like, "Okay." I have no idea. I have no idea about Korean food at all. I what is like kimbap? It. So it's seaweed, and then you put rice, and then you put. It's just Korean Cucumber sushi. or sausage or something in and you roll it and then you cut it. It's kind of like sushi but without the fish. I really don't like seaweed at all. The taste makes me gag. And so while we're preparing this food, right? And she's like, oh, this is so good. And I'm like, mmm. And I was able to eat one without puking. But I felt so bad. Luckily, she had rice on the side so I just ate that. But... For me, that was really embarrassing because I feel like I offended our hosts. But I couldn't, for the life of me, put another kimbap piece in my mouth. Because I felt like I'm going to 
throw up and vomit all over the table if I do. I just ate tons of extra. He ate all mine. To I, make I up kept for it. sneaking onto it. But because I love it, man. Korean food is amazing. It's just when you, like, when you go to someone's house, you try to be on your best behavior. But with South Koreans, you try to be extra on your best behavior because <laughs> that's just their culture. It's very respectful. If you've been in Korea, you know what I mean. Anyways. Uh, for me, the most embarrassing dinner is literally any dinner we take our kids to. Yeah. You have kids? Is that how you feel like? Pretty much every we're, we're, time. I think we're at the point now where we don't make them eat when we're out somewhere. We like feed them before so we know they're kind of full. And then we get to the dinner and we offer. And if they don't want to eat, we're like, okay, then you're not eating here. If anyone has parenting tips please on send them our way. How to make your kids doing. like eat reasonable human beings in public um but then i see other kids freaking out too and it makes me feel not so bad our kids are three and six mm -hmm. little boys and energy i can't think of a single like if it was a sit-down restaurant experience i can't think of a single experience that's been pleasant Nope. With our, with our children usually, in six years. We have five minutes of eating and then they're bored. So unless we give them the phone. Well, that's not true. Five minutes of eating. We usually they do make it to 30 minutes when we bring their, you know, they have coloring books, they have toys. And, but then they get bored and then they want to wander. So one of us has to wander while the other shoves the food in. And then we switch. So if anyone has is looking for an amazing idea like... A kid-friendly restaurant. Do it. Make, no. it. make it a marketing chain and implement it all over the world. That when you go, go sit, kind of like Ikea. They made it. It's, it's called McDonald's. No. It had a, a play place. That's a fast food place. Anyway, The kids want to eat the food there. That's not what I mean. Here's what I think they should make. I think they should make a restaurant where... No. I think that's this, not a good idea. This is a really good idea. No, that's They should make a restaurant idea. where... Because kids love running under the table. They always want to climb under the table and all that type of stuff. Like hiding. Why isn't there just a cage under the table that kind of is sunk down a little bit Honey, lower people, into the ground? And when human they, rightlers are going to... No, they're not locked in there forever. They're locked in there for like the hour that you're there for dinner. So you come, the kids go underneath, you throw them a bunch of stuff, things they can play with. It's all like that hard foam, you know, that you can just spray out with a hose with a pressure washer after. Put the kids under there. Uh, Can they get like, out on their own? No, because you don't want them running around the restaurant. They're stuck underneath, and then you sit up top, eat your food, enjoy your meal, talking with whoever you're with, and then throw scraps down there for them, and and it's kind of like soundproof. Can't really hear what they're doing How when they're screaming and crying. Right? I don't know. They're not screaming and crying. Maybe they think it's super fun because it's like a cave. Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully. And... Uh, and then there's some like, when they come out, they go through uh, like a little car wash. That so like they have wet clothes on them. Well, no, it's it, a it, restaurant it, with wet clothes. It like it blows them really hard. Like it's, it's not got, very, it, very well thought through. Love. No, it has really hot, hot. It has really powerful fans that just blow all the crap off them. <laughs> and then, uh, so they come out clean and dry. What about the hands? Of the everything. Sticky? It blows so hard. It blows everything off. Okay, I don't know if that's safe. Let's move on. They'll figure it out. I think we should do this in two more. Yeah, this is going on too long. Married to a German slash Canadian. I feel like, I hope none of your family is watching this, but I feel like your family has a very unique sense of humor. My Canadian and family. I'm the Canadian. Canadian. And I'm German. Eve's the German. And every time I don't understand their jokes. It's all jokes all the time. I just laugh and I'm like, you get that? Okay. <laughs> and then I just go help my mother in law cook because I don't understand. So he has five brothers, he has five siblings. Four of them are dudes, and one is a sister. So their jokes are all that. just, so it's five boys and one girl. That's what it's like. Like if you think of a stereotypical, Plus they don't fight. They don't fight. Significant others. Plus their significant others, yeah. But they're 
humor is just very, I guess, Canadian. I, I don't understand it. I still don't understand it after eight and a half years. We even lived in Canada for three. I don't get it. I think I don't well. So Canadian humor is a it's very special. A mode. A mode of being. It's very hard sometimes because they're sarcastic a lot and so you're like, are you sarcastic right now or are you serious? You just need to understand it's like it's like being able to interpret the opposite of everything that's so said. much work. It makes you smart, smarter. Canadians kind of think they're smarter than other people. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Germans, what's it like being married to a German? Well, it's I'll amazing. talk about your family. I didn't mean that in a negative way. I'm just saying I still don't understand their humor. Uh, uh, your that's family's my family. My family's amazing. Always in everyone's business. Yes, we are in everyone's business. Everything is going on. We're like. I don't know if that's, you can't, I don't know if we can generalize and say that's a German thing. I don't know either. But it's uh, always in our biz. I'm like, get out of my biz. I don't check any messages. I'm not a part of many group chats. I am. I'm uh, part of Facebook. I don't contribute. I don't contribute I'm anything. Nothing. Well, you contributed our two kids, which are the only kids in my family. And they are getting spoiled by uncles and auntie. And grandparents, of course. Mm -hmm. My side of the family doesn't care as much because there's there's so many kids, and we seven, don't really think like that. Seven kids, <laughs> seven grandchildren. It's like your kids are your kids. I'm not. And I guess <laughs> he has more brothers, so. Yeah. Okay, one more, and then we're done. Oh what? Yeah. This is so fun. We should do them all. No, it's one more. No, let's go all the way. What time is it? No. We can just edit it or just post it up. I think people want more, right? No. Yes, you guys do. You want a break because who wants to sit and watch people talk for 15 minutes? Are you serious, Eva Christine? What I love about Canada. Huh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so easy. A and W. <laughs> we, so we're from Alberta. He's from Alberta. I lived there for three years. Edmonton. And I love the prairies. I the love prairies. Prairies, whatever. I love driving on the Anthony Hende towards his parents' house. They live out in the country. It's Bears? So, oh, no. Sasquatch? So, no. Oh. It's so pretty. Canada is so pretty. And driving in the pretty. snow? In Canada, the people are super friendly. Very, very friendly. I love that about Canada. Yeah. It's just so friendly. Uh, I like Canada, man. Poutine. Poutine's Poutine good. Super yummy. What do you love about Canada? I love lamp. Lamp? I love lamp. Uh, I love uh, my family. I love... When I was young, I loved the snow. Now that I'm old, it's not the same. You're 34. Yeah, old. With responsibilities. Uh, I love the Freedom Convoy. <laughs> That's pretty Honey, sick. Honey, if someone watches this in five years, they don't know what we're talking about. Okay, let's not talk. I'm not going to yeah. get into it because no, none of that on Something this show. Timeless. I love uh, our sense of humor, as we talked I about. <laughs> I love, you already mentioned some and good stuff, poutine. Mm -hmm. A and W. A and W. I love Millwoods. If you're from Edmonton, I love Millwoods. I, I don't love Tim Hortons. Tim Bits, man. Mm -mm. I don't love. <laughs> wait, this is. A, We're talking about. It's what really we love. hard to not do it. I don't love. I love Tim Hortons. I don't know what you're talking about. The coffee's bad, but. The people are good, and it's, it's a beautiful place. Yeah. There's giant mosquitoes. Yeah, it's really pretty. Uh, it's a really good passport. If you have a Canadian passport, people think you're nice. Easy. It's a good passport. Yeah. Yeah. That's Anyways. A, what do you love about Canada, considering a good chunk of you people watching this because you feel sorry for us, <laughs> are from Canada? I'm from Canada. Um, tell us. Heck, this show is brought to us by you because the only people who will be getting this are those who paid for it.
No one pays for this. They pay for our lives. Thank you. If you pay, you're for on our lives. email <laughs> email list. <laughs> Share it with your friends. <gasps> Someone's downstairs. Okay, we gotta finish this podcast. No, and... go get them. No. Okay, you keep talking to them. I'll go get the door. I'm just gonna close this. No, up. don't close it. I want to close it out. Pick the next question. I need to go use the bathroom. Thank you for watching this. You're awesome. See you next time. Hopefully. If, if you have questions, email them to us or drop them down below in a comment. Thank you. Bye. How do you stop the recording?